All right, so we've already automated um, this guitar section with the air kill EQ that's going to go on at that moment. All right, so we could have done this differently, and in fact, I'm going to show you how we could have done it using the drum, the drum track. Um, because further along in the song, at measure 41, is it 41? No, I'm sorry. Later on in the song, at measure um, 29, there's another breakdown. And I kill in the number two. So you can hear how it goes from full fidelity again. But this time you hear the drums and you hear um, the guitar that is affected and you hear the 808 that is affected. So because we already set up um, automation on the guitar, I'm going to do that again. Okay. So something like that. All right, so I'm, I'm fine with that. Now, some of you already did this, and I think that it's fine. I just wanted to be able to show you automated effects. The way that I'm going to do it for the drums, because we're going to be separating the drum outputs, and you'll learn that momentarily, um, I'm just going to actually take this, uh, I'm going to make a new track. So I'm going to make a new stereo instrument track called Drum Effects. And on that, I'm going to actually copy. So a way to copy is option, click, and drag um, so that I have the exact same drum instrument ready to go. And I'm going to grab these four measures that the breakdown, where the breakdown happens, and I'm going to drag them down. All right, I'm in grid mode, so I know that this is at measure 29. And instead of automating anything, I'm just going to, on this track, put in the air kill. And I think I decided that just leaving the mids is OK. Let's see what that sounds like going between the original drum track and then this affected drum track. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so um, so this track is not automating the effect. The guitar track is. Now, could we have made another um, guitar track, say like this one, Guitar 2, and simply drag this down? Absolutely. I just chose not to do that um, because I wanted to teach you how to automate effects. Um, and there's another reason, again, uh, having to do with separating our drums. But let's see, did I do the 808 yet? So same thing for the 808, where I am going to, let's see, I want the 808 to have the effect. This time I am going to automate the master bypass because I don't want to, there are reasons that I do, I make these decisions. Contact is a very processor heavy um, instrument and therefore I kind of just want to have one and I already have two um, and we'll learn how to use just one. But um, yeah, so I just, I don't want to have a whole bunch of contacts all over the place. So I am going to Automate. I remember, I'm not going over everything, but I clicked on auto. I chose the master bypass. We've already done this exact same thing. Last little thing here, and um, this is the sweep effect. Let's go. Now there's a bunch of different ways to do this. We're gonna do it in battery this time around. 
And what we're going to do, we're going to click on, which battery are we going to click on? We're going to click on this one that's going to stay at full fidelity. There's a crash symbol. Let's use this one. I'm going to drag it over here to be next to my hi-hat, just so that I know that A1 is, is right above my hi-hat in the MIDI editor. I'm going to edit the length of this thing. So I'm going to grab this E and drag it to around there so that it's a shorter effect. And then I'm going to hit reverse here. I'm going to lengthen this a little bit so I hear more of that. Okay. And then I am going to go into this drum part. And I believe that if I trigger A1 around beat three of measure 32, I should get a pretty clean sweep. Let's see. Could that be better? Yes. Yes, definitely. Um, perhaps again longer, so I don't hear as much of the uh, kind of attack of it. And it's a little long, but it works, does it? No, it's too long. It's too long. So just by moving it, maybe one more. No, that was right. So play around with that. Um, you know, so I length, I lengthened it maybe a little bit too much. You know, so we could do this. There we go. So you got to kind of balance how long your lead-in tail is to um, what becomes the sweep. Now again, many other ways to do that, but it shows you a little bit something about how to use battery.